We are going to discuss how to maximize the power dissipated in your external resistance. Okay, so that's like performance, right? But we're also going to talk about how we balance the efficiency of your setup. And so we're going to discuss something called the uh, maximum power theorem. All right, uh, this is a nice thing to know. Basically, the maximum power theorem states that if you want to make your power dissipated in this resistor as large as possible, then you have to allow the external resistance R to equal to the internal resistance small r. And that is illustrated here in this PRR graph. Okay, and as you can see, if you allow your big R to equal to small r over here, then you bring this up there, you will get the maximum amount of power being dissipated over there. Okay, there is, uh, of course, a mathematical reason why this is the case, but we will not discuss that in the scope of this video. It's not required in the A-levels. Um, and so there you go. Now, however, let us now talk about efficiency. And this is quite interesting because efficiency is something that is uh, completely different. And we, I think intuitively we know that if we want a lot of power, sometimes we have to sacrifice on efficiency. So suppose we have a current I in this circuit, then efficiency is the useful output over the total input. Now, assuming that the output or the useful output is, of course, how much power you can get in your external resistor, then that, of course, will be I squared times big R, and the total power consumed is I squared big R plus I squared small r. If you cancel away all the I squared, you will get a nice expression for the efficiency, R over R plus R. And so in the case where we have maximum power, where big R equals to small r, you can quite e easily see that your efficiency will only be 50%, which is not great. In fact, how you should maximize your efficiency, you can see, all right, you can allow big R to be a lot greater than small r, and in which case your efficiency will this or this fraction over here will tend towards one which means it tends towards a hundred percent you'll never get there but you'll get pretty close if your big r is very 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 much larger than your small r and so now we know the two conditions for power and efficiency but you see there is a trade-off because if you make r very very large then you're essentially going this way on the curve which means that you are sacrificing on power and so it turns out that you will always place your circuit somewhere on this part of the curve, right? If you move this way, you are choosing power. If you move that way, you are choosing, of course, efficiency. 